The Godzilla franchise has produced 36 films in its 67 year run, and in that time, there have been many stories that didn't make the final cut. Some of them had aspects that were adapted into later scripts, while others were simply lost in the process. Today, I want to take a look at the first of many unmade scripts that were written on the path to Godzilla vs. Destoroyah. If this lost film was made, we would have seen the return of the Showa Eris Baron, as it faced off with Godzilla and Little Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Giant Monster Baron. Now, Varen's not a new monster, but he isn't a well-established one either. He began as one of the few Toho Kaiju lucky enough to star in his own film, yet his was originally written to be a TV movie or series. Giant Monster Varen, or Varen the Unbelievable, the edited US version, both came out in 1958 when Toho was making solo Kaiju films like Godzilla, Rodan, and soon after, Mothra. Varen's only other appearance in the era would be 10 years later in 1968 for Destroy All Monsters. Unfortunately, Varen's role would be cut down to a mere cameo when only its flying prop from the original film could be used, as the main suit had broken down with age. Because of the smaller prop being used with the other full-size monster suits, this Varen is known as a 10 meter juvenile or the second generation Varen. And that's it, surprisingly. No other appearances in this era or later ones. According to John LeMay, who describes lost kaiju films in the big book of Japanese giant monster movies, The Lost Films, Godzilla vs. Giant Monster Baron would have been released sometime in 1994 or 95, but its story would have taken place in the future year of 1999. It's said that Baron would have awoken with the goal to destroy the world, and both Godzilla and Little Godzilla would have teamed up with the mission to stop him. He even notes that Little G would have finally learned to perform his atomic breath attack. Unfortunately, when it comes to how a Heisei version of Baron would look, there is no concept art or description given. We don't even know if he would have had any powers beyond those of its Showa iteration. The Heisei era did heavily rely on ranged attacks, with directors saying that they wanted to avoid the wrestling matches of the past. So it's highly possible that Baron could have received such an upgrade. Something like he had in 2007's Godzilla Unleashed, where he had two different Sonic Red attacks. I'm also betting that a Heisei take on Varen would be much larger than its 50 meter Showa cousin, likely in the 100 meter range when standing up on its back legs as Godzilla himself went from 50 to 80 and then to 100 meters tall for the era. LeMay also notes in the book that the idea of killing off Godzilla only appeared when working on the burst Destoroya drafts, so in the earlier scripts, like this one, we would have seen a much different ending to the era. With no death, there's no meltdown or burning Godzilla stage. Instead, Godzilla and Little Godzilla, now possibly Godzilla Jr., would have defeated Varen, and we would have seen them swimming over the horizon as the year 1999 ticks over to 2000 as the film ends, an ending used later for Godzilla Final Wars. This idea of having Varen as an evil kaiju would be a pretty big change in character for Varen. In 1958's Giant Monster Varen, the monster acted out when the lake that it lived in was trespassed upon. In the English adaption, Varen the Unbelievable, it would be the use of a chemical desalination process using explosives on the lake that drove the monster to attack. In either case, the monster was for the most part defending its home, and it was on the side of Earth's defenders against King Ghidorah. But here, Varen is not simply the enemy of Godzilla and Son, he's described as the harbinger of the apocalypse. We saw something similar with Anguirus, where the first one fought Godzilla to the death in Godzilla Raids Again, while later generations would prove to be some of his strongest allies. In 2015, we'd finally get an evil Varen for the comic book Godzilla in Hell. Here, while in the Deluge, an eternal ocean realm, Godzilla would face off with a demonic Varen. However, their meeting wouldn't prove to be much of a fight, as he was driven off by Godzilla's atomic breath in the arrival of King Ghidorah. So what are your thoughts on Varen? I've always been a big fan of him, and as much as I love learning about these unmade films, I know that Godzilla vs. Destoroya was a much better way to end the era. But if this movie didn't take the place of that film, and was its own thing, it could have been interesting. Now when Godzilla vs. Giant Monster Varen was passed on by Toho, the next two scripts, or drafts, had Godzilla facing off with another Godzilla, or the ghost of another Godzilla. If you like this video, maybe we'll take a look at those next time. 
Thanks for watching guys, your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions go a long way towards helping the channel grow. Take care, and I hope to see you next time.